Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Epic Arma. I was working on my next narrative episode when something caught my attention in the Steam Workshop and I just had to make a video about it. Namely, a very cool mod was released today, namely Max Joiner's uh, Alien Mod. Here we have the Xenomorph. Max is, of course, uh, responsible for uh, other mods like the Police Mod, Women. Uh, he has some custom zombies one, and he also shares the same name as I do, which is cool. You also here have the face hugger, which does work, and if it actually catches you, you will die, and it will hug around your face. And all the way at the end here, we have even a little surprise. We have a queen xenomorph. Look at that. And also, in the mission that I made, we are going to do this small defense, and after the defense, I will head out uh, and to this place where the place got infested with eggs that I then need to get rid of and there's also a few more xenomorphs here. It's a very quick uh, scenario that I made and in the future we will get to more complex and more story driven stuff but if you do want already more uh, alien stuff out there please go to Looping Real Gaming channel you can find the link to that channel in the description down below it is run by me and my friend Ryan and I, I have already posted a uh, last stance scenario with the alien mod uh, out there where it's basically just uh, facing off after wave after wave of enemies including also multiple queens now later on we will also get to more subtle stuff where this is very much like again in, in, in style of epic armor large scale battles but of course this mod is also ideal for more low profile you know missions in the dark during the night you and your team just have a flashlight and you need to get somewhere while facing off against you know only a handful of aliens now and then that will kind of like scare you or jump scare you anyway guys let's start all right, and here we are. I should say that the Colonial Marines mod is a separate mod uh, that is not... Uh, I have done videos of that in the past. I got it sent by a viewer. Uh, it's actually a port from Arma 2, I believe. And I should also say that it can become quite laggy and chaotic in the beginning. Ooh, we got some flamethrower units there, burning the Xenomorphs. But also the pulse rifles come with grenade launchers that the AI loves to use. Jesus, oh my god, there's so many. Now one thing that's really cool is, as you can see, when they die, they actually do get like this acid like cloud around them, kind of like replicating that acidic blood. Uh, he's attacking that marine over there. Now one thing that's also really cool, and I want to wait until we are in a bit of a better position. Oh, I actually now disappeared. So there's some also some really cool custom blood uh, things here that apparently do actually cause some error messages and stuff. But here you can actually see that we have some very cool blood splatters going on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Let me actually get to the second floor. Give me a better, uh, better angle on them. Also, I will be changing weapons. We do have the smart gun and a flamethrower. So, the flamethrower will be ideal to deal with the uh, the eggs. We still have a few groups alive. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> I think that is not bullet... Uh, Penetrable glass. Hurt myself there. So yeah, they have the face huggers. The face huggers. Again, also their movement is a little bit iffy here and there, but of course they're not really made for for Arma, of course, originally. So I think it's still very impressive that uh, they are animated uh, and they do work, and that they will attack you. Oh! Ugh. Just like as you could could now see that the. Xenomorph does actually shit jump at you. I need some help here. Okay, he's dead. Here we have a good example of the blood splatter. Really, really cool. Let's uh, see if we can get a different weapon. Oops, Robin. Flamethrower. Uh, I want to do that last. Let's actually see if we can get a smart gun. That'd be cool. It's a heavy grenade there. He doesn't have that. No. Now, back in the Arma 2 days, there was also a Predator mod. It was a very small mod. Only had like two or three models of it, but it did work. And 
uh, it did have different weapons and it was very powerful and you had like the invisible version and the visible version uh, I think I'm not the only one who really wants that ported towards uh, armor 3 and then we can finally have a freaking um, aliens versus predator or even aliens versus predator versus colonial marines in there there we go smart gun baby Also take the first aid. All right, now this is the Halo mod of course, uh, or the Halo map of course that I'm also using here, and the AI is not really able to go over the bridge. I did give them the command to go right here uh, and go over the. Oh no, wait, no, no, exactly. Same thing for the xenomorphs that are over there. So I will be on my own, but that's fine. And I think you guys can see also. Oh, come here, bitch. Wow, that smart gun is not very powerful. <laughs> The, uh, the flamethrower is incredibly powerful. So we'll kill a few more with the smart gun and then actually... Oh, one thing that's also really cool is that the eggs do work. So if you get close to the eggs, they will spawn in um, uh, facehuggers. So for the first time where you actually see it and you're kind of curious, you're like, oh, it's just an animated... Oh, shit, what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm still alive, but I'm probably going to die soon. I'm ugh, devoured. Okay, and there we go. All right, guys. I just put uh, my character outside as the AI deals with the uh, the defense, but we'll be playing then as the flamethrower unit and deal with uh, with them. We'll just skip this for now. Um, <laughs> where's the flamethrower unit? Here it is. Uh, we'll just place him over here. Make him player. There we go. I should have probably made a few more characters playable in terms of a, if I died, but it's fine. Now, I really also am an advert supporter of mods like this, where we get really, really creative and unique things to Arma 3, where... You know, we had, of course, the Jurassic Arma mod a long time ago. You know, dinosaurs in Arma. I mean, who could have thought that at the beginning that that was possible? Um, you know, we have the Starship Troopers mod that I believe I read is now also is, is cancelled. Um, the Starship Troopers mod that I used before was not the same. Uh, it was ported from Arma 1 by Raz. Uh, and the one available on the Steam Workshop... It's a little different and actually does contain two unique mo uh, bugs that I didn't have. But of course it will be also cool to in the future maybe combine things and have like raptors and aliens and you know bugs from Starship Troopers attack like a base or something. It does dissolve the aliens as you can see which is cool. Oh, Jesus. I should be careful because the uh, flames do hurt uh, myself as well if I am cl too close to it. I should be a little bit careful with my, uh, with my ammo. So yeah, so you can actually, um, shoot them from afar, and I do believe that if you do the splash, that create- Oh, Jesus. Whoa! He got me in one hit. I actually wanted to go up here. I'm still alive. Ugh. Not for long, though. Crawl! Crawl! Oh, there I go. Oh, my goodness. They are so strong. I should have stuck with the uh, with the actual flamethrower. Let's actually then position me at the base here. 
I'm going to get over a run here, though. Let's actually have a few more. Might get also a little bit laggy because the particles that get, get released with the um, flamethrower are quite a lot. Oh, Jesus. Now, the ironic thing is that the flamethrower is actually so strong that if I use it too much on this building, it will crumble. Oh, there you can see the- oh, look at that, they're using it, I'm- oh. It's really cool that the AI can properly use the, uh, the flamethrower as well, though they are very enthusiastic about it, and they will hurt others. Alright, so here we can show you the- so you get close to them, and look, they will spawn and get out. Now again, animation is not as smooth, but again, I think, uh, I think you should accept it. For what it is. Oh, it looks like they are a little bit bugged out with the fact that they are spawned inside a building. There you go. That's what I was talking about. So. Oh, this building is not fireproof. It's also getting very laggy at the moment. Oh, uh, kill him! Kill him! Save me! I'm still here. Die! But I killed myself too. I burned myself to death. Alright guys, that is it. Um, again, as I said, uh, this is just a very quick scenario that I put in together. Uh, just because I saw this mod and I want to get some attention. Uh, you know, please support mods like this. I will set have the link to the mod inscription down below. You know, we need more unique and cool things like this. Uh, in Arma, you know, creatures, monsters, you know, things that are way out there that have nothing necessarily to do with a mill sim or, or anything else like that. Um, yeah, again, uh, do let me know what kind of scenarios you you would like to see in the future. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities here uh, with, of course, the aliens, also in combination with other mods. And anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And um, as I promised, the next video will uh, finally be another narrative episode. Uh, I know you guys, uh, a lot of you guys have been uh, wanting for that. So uh, I will see you guys next time.